Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in another video day. And today, the Houston Astros have sweeped and crushed the Baltimore Orioles 8-1. to What a way to close out this series. And for the Astros to really get their, I mean, I know it's technically you can say it's their second sweep of the season, but it's really their first sweep of the season. Uh, I know it was a four-game sweep against the Athletics, but come on, that's the Athletics. It was a great four-game sweep that the Astros had about a month ago against Oakland, but this is a real sweep, and this is a sweep against a great team, 49-28 and 28 Baltimore Orioles team that is playing some great baseball up until this series. The Astros just dominated them. Uh, they were winning 14-3 to before the 7th or 8th inning of Friday's game. We're dominating until the Astros started putting the, you know, their bottom relievers into the game, and next thing you know, the Astros only won by 3, 14-11. Uh, you know, yesterday, Blanco was absolutely outstanding in seven innings. Bullpen was good. Astros win uh, five to one, which was another fantastic, you know, game for this Astros team. And then yes, then sorry, and then today the Astros win eight to one. Another, you know, a lot of hits for this Astros team. Another game with a lot of hits for the Strohs. Fifteen hits. Another really good outing for a starting pitcher in Framber Valdez. Back to back days where you know starting pitchers have great games in Framber Valdez and and Ronald Blanco, and this is just great baseball that the Astros are playing. It's five wins in a row now. Seven of their last nine games, the Astros have won. And the more important thing, the Astros now are only two games under five hundred. The last time the Astros were two games under five hundred was when the Astros beat the. Uh, Blue Jays, I believe, funny thing, uh, same score, same score, same amount of hits. The Astros beat the Blue Jays 8-1 to on the sixth game of the season. And they had 15 hits, it's the same amount of hits they had in this game, 15. And uh, it, between the pitchers of the pitcher, the pitchers that pitched in that game, Christian Javier went five innings, and then the Astros brought in off the bullpen, they brought in uh, Seth Martinez, Taylor Scott, Rafael Montero, and funny enough, Dylan Coleman, who hasn't really been back in the majors much since. But they they all nine of those all, all five of those guys pitched in nine innings and only gave up one hit and one run. And that was the last time the Astros were one game under or sorry, two games under five hundred. And that was April third. It is June twenty third. The Astros are now two games under five hundred for the first time since April third. And the best thing is, after such a dominating series, twenty seven runs in three games, thirty nine hits in three games, the Astros get an off day tomorrow. That has to feel great, especially with right now. You know, I really think so. With with really only knowing four guys that are available to start right now for this team, you know, at starting pitcher, some off days coming up has to feel great for this team. I mean. You have Monday off and then a two-game series against uh, Colorado at home for Tuesday and Wednesday, then Thursday off, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in New York against the New York Mets. That has to feel great after dominating the last three games against this Baltimore Orioles team and working your ass off to get these three wins, to get an off day that has to feel amazing. But uh, yeah, but they're two games under five hundred with the next five games being against the Rockies, one of the worst teams in the National League, and the New York Mets, who you know have been better recently but are, have still been really bad this year. Um, and you are going to see Ronel Blanco and Framber Valdez pitch in that series for the Astros. We'll see who that other pitcher is for the Astros in that series. That, will, that, will, that, that might be the loss in that New York series. But this is absolutely a great chance for the Astros to go over 500, and I believe in the course of the next five games with having two days off going up against these two bad teams in the Rockies and the Mets, the Astros will find themselves over 500 by the end of the week. Next Sunday, the Astros will be over 500 after the Mets series. Great win for the Astros today. Eight to one's the final score. 15 hits for the Strohs. Seven for Baltimore. Zero errors in the ball game. Win goes to Fromber. He's six and five on the year. Serez gets the loss. He's three, three and two in the year. Pitch five innings, even 10 hits, five earned runs, three strikeouts, three walks. Scoring summary, the Astros went crazy in this first inning. A first inning leadoff home run for Jose Altuve, 427 feet. It's one to zero. Then the Astros would continue to get more runners on. Bregman would, in that inning, would get a double. 
And then uh, after Jordan, who had a bad day today, flies out, Yanner Diaz would get a single to left. Bregman scored its 2-0. to zero. Then Jeremy Pena with Diaz at first base would hit a double to left. Diaz would score its 3-0. to zero. And then Jeremy Pena, who was on second base, Dubon would would get a single to center. Pena scores easily, of course, at second base, and it's five. It's four. It's four to zero. Then in the fourth inning, Yanner Diaz with another RBI. He gets a sacrifice fly to, to center. Cesar Salazar scores. It's five to zero. How about Jordan Westberg for the Baltimore Orioles getting home runs in back to back days? He had a home run yesterday. There was there was the, the that was the only way they scored runs in the last two games. Jordan Westberg, a home run to left center, four hundred six. 366 feet, it's 5-1. to one. Then, sixth inning, how about Jeremy Pena? Not one uh, not one double to left um, to the wall, two doubles to left, or just, this it says center, but it was it was more to left, um, to the wall. And how about not just one scores off that double, try for two. Diaz and Bregman score at 7-1. to one. Then, eighth inning, Yanner Diaz hits the sacrifice fly to right, Altuve scores, and it's eight to one, man. Alex Bregman and Yanu Diaz were absolutely fantastic in this game. Other guys like Altuve and Jeremy Pena had great games, but Bregman and Diaz combined for seven for combined seven for seven in this game. Yanu Diaz was perfect. Uh, he he went three for three with two sacrifice fly RBIs. Bregman didn't have any RBIs in this game, but he scored two runs. Yanu Diaz in this game had a total of three RBIs. Both guys were fantastic. Altuve goes two for five with his home run and an eighth inning single to left. And Alex Bregman goes four for four with a double in the first inning, a walk in the second inning, a fourth inning double to left, Salazar to third, a sixth inning infield single to second, and an eighth inning single to center to get Altuve to second. Jordan went, unfortunately went 0 for 4. He was intentionally walked to load the bases in the fourth inning, which led to Yanner Diaz's sacrifice fly. But outside of that, Jordan struggled after getting a three two run home run yesterday. Jake Myers would come in and replace Jordan and you know field uh, played now field late in the game after it was a blowout and he didn't get any at bats. Yanner Diaz went three for, Yanner Diaz went three for three and was probably the player of the game for the Astros with three RBIs. A first inning single to left for an RBI to score Bregman. A third inning uh, infield single. A fourth inning sacrifice fly RBI to score Cesar Salazar. A sixth inning single to, to left, Bregman to second, and an eighth inning sacrifice fly to score Altuve. Jeremy Pena was absolutely fantastic, going three for five. He had the two RBI doubles in the first and sixth inning, and then in the third, he had a single to left to get Diaz to second. Mauricio Dubon went one for three with a first inning single to center. Pena scored, and then he sacrificed the catcher, Pena to second, and Diaz to third in the third inning. Uh, that was it for Dubon. Joey Loprofito went one for three with a first inning single to right. Dubon to second. And outside of that, he walked in the fifth, but struck out twice in the third and fifth. Third and seventh. Chas McCormick, after his best game of the season yesterday, going three for three with two home runs, went 0 for four with a bunt pop out, uh, strike out, fly out, and ground out. Then the final batter, Cesar Salazar, who coming into this game was three for four this season so far. He goes one for four playing catcher. And that improves him to being, what, 4-8 four, four this season. Uh, and he had a flyout in the first. He had a single to right in the fourth. A very, very hard hit line out in the fifth and a seventh inning ground out. And then the, your pitchers, Framber Valdez obviously got the win. But King pitches in the eighth and gets a strikeout to start off his career with the Astros. And then how about Contreras, who pitched the ninth, gave up a hit, but didn't give up any runs or walks or and didn't have any strikeouts either. But, hey, this was a great outing for the Astros. Great pitching by Framber Valdez. Great hitting by Bregman, Yanner Diaz, and including Altuve and Jeremy Pena. And for the Astros to get two games under five hundred now, first time since April 3rd when they improved to 2-4. and four. And also they are closing up on the, on the Mariners and, and the wild cards. But I think now they're like three and – they're either four, three and a half games – back from the wild card spot now so things are things are looking good for the astros right now remember my thoughts and peace out go astros